When I actually IPO, will my IPO done in, be done in pounds? No, you can do it in dollars. You can trade in dollars. Mm. Um, um, but more often than not, actually, companies do, try, do typically choose pet, you know, pounds and pence share prices because that's what the local investor base is used to. But we do have companies from Argentina that are trading in, in dollars. Mm -hmm. um, you can definitely report your, um, your accounts in dollars. I mean, that, we have lots and lots of companies that do that. I'd say that a significant minority across the entire exchange, main and the main market, reports in dollars anyway. Um, and people are just used to seeing that. Um, now, what kind of what kind of follow up do I have to do as a CEO of a company? What kind of follow on marketing do I have to do to investors to make sure that people are trading the stock or to maintain that liquidity? Um, what have you seen in terms of best practices for companies to actually do that? Well, I think there are a couple of things to point out. You know, the UK is a half yearly reporting environment, not a quarterly reporting environment. And I think the investor base in the UK has come out strongly against quarterly reporting, saying they think it's counterproductive and hmm. it's short termism. I mean, obviously, that is a diff that is a very different mindset than the US, where quarterly reporting is such an ingrained part of the financial culture. But what I'd say is that you will need to be going to see the investor base at least three to four times a year. Just, I mean, and that's part of one of the issues is you need to understand, although I think technology makes these things easier. I mean, we're, what, a thousand miles away from each other and we're having <laughs> a conversation as if we're in the same room. Um, you know, you are somewhat distant from your investor base. But there is one thing about the UK um, that's different than the US in that you're, in the UK you appoint what's called a corporate broker. So that's an investment bank. And they basically are a market maker. They'll be also publishing research. Mm. They're almost like an outsourced IR function. Mm. They will help gather feedback. They'll be trading insights. And that relationship is very important in the small cap um, arena in the UK um, in terms of making sure that there is interest and in liquidity in the stock. And it is much more of a, a broker-driven liquidity market than an order-driven liquidity market. Obviously, as you get higher up the market cap scale, you can have a much more order driven um, where, you know, market makers don't really make a diff that much big of a difference to liquidity, but the small end of the market, they do. And so that is very important in the UK process and that choice of that investment bank, or there may be more than one investment bank given the size of the company is very important to making sure that you continue to drive interest in the, in the stock of the company.